Oh, uh, hello guys, this is Meta, and this is a series of videos showing you how to create your own platform game using XNA Game Studio. Okay, this tutorial assumes that you have basic understanding on both C Sharp and XNA Game Studio. Okay, so to get started, we have to create a new game project. So let's do it fast. So click File New Project, Windows Games, and name it anything you want. I will name it Platform Test, and click OK. You have to wait a while. Let me zoom in. Okay. So remove the unnecessary comments. We don't need it. Okay. I'll just rename it. Okay, now. In our game, we need to have objects, right? So, to hold the object, we'll create a class. So, let's do it. Right click the platform test, add new class, and name it Sprite. This class will hold Sprite. And add the using statements. Make this class public because we want to access this class. And make this abstract also because we don't want to have this class instantiated. We want to inherit from this class. Okay? So now let's add the variables. We will first of all start with texture 2D. This will hold the texture of the image. So I'll just name it texture. And another variable would be position of the sprite, which is a vector 2 that contains two two float values x and y then we will need a rotation which will be a float and um, a depth which will hold the depth of the sprite the more value the more depth of the sprite the next we gonna add the rectangle to detect collisions. The rectangle is an object is a yeah, sorry it's a class which holds four values which is width, height, x and y. And we need it to detect collision detection. So now we'll add another x and y class of origin which will be the rotation point of the image and it defaults to the top left corner of the sprite. Now we will add the constructor 
let's just make this protected so that the class which inherits from this sprite class will gain will have access to these fields or variables so hold down alt and just drag create a rectangular box which will hold the access modifiers and change it to protect it okay now let's do the constructor and this constructor will have the texture the position of the rotation oh my goodness rotation which defaults to no rotation and a depth which defaults to no depth and we'll assign those values to the variables depth cause depth and now we'll create the bounds okay so we'll just write bounds equals new rectangle and the x will be the position dot x the y will be position dot y the width will be texture dot width the height will be texture dot height and because rectangles accept only in data type we have to cast it to int okay let's do it Okay, done. Now the same way we'll do the origin, and we we want the origin to be the middle of this sprite. Okay, to do that we have to divide both the height and the width to two by two. Sorry. So let's do it. So this will be texture dot width divided by twelve, and this will be texture dot height divided by two. F. The reason I wrote F because it's a float bear it's a float value, okay? And you can write without F, it's your wish, but I prefer writing with F. So okay. Now add the draw method, uh add the update method which will have the game time as the parameter and on each on each frame and this update calls on each frames sorry it calls 60 times each frame okay so we want to know the values because these values are dynamic it can be changed so we want to keep track of the value mm, let's add the draw method and it will have this spike batch sprite batch as the name said is a ren is a render is a render target which will effect on a group of sprites and the draw method calls after update method calls and it depends on the G GPU graphics card so on the draw method we will draw the sprite so the texture will be the texture and let me choose this the position will be the position color will be color that white it's a color used for tinting 
so we don't want any tinting so we'll just keep it white and there is one thing we left is the source rectangle as it has been mentioned that it it draws this sprite from a specified position we'll just add null to it null means nothing okay just keep it at is at it is now the rotation will be the rotation the origin will be the origin the sprite we don't want any sprite effects so we will select none and the depth will be the depth oh yeah there is one thing left which is uh, the um, the scale we don't want any scale so we want to keep it on one the default scale okay so we have done the sprite and in the next video we will try to implement the player onto the screen okay and make him move and attack if possible um, one more thing I wanna do is I wanna just rename the game one to something more good I just name it primary because it's the main thing the primary class so thanks you guys for watching and sorry about my voice